Hello folks, it's Daniel here and in today's tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how I'm going to change mom's dress color inside of Lightroom using some of the latest updates to Lightroom from Adobe involving clothing masks, okay? This is a new feature that's been added to Lightroom in the last update and I'm going to demonstrate what it means for us as photographers. So clothing color changes is normally something that I would actually do inside of Photoshop. But with this latest update, it's kind of changing things for me a little bit and it's giving me the ability to actually make these color changes with inside of Lightroom. So let's go and have a look at where we find these tools and how we're going to use them. Now in this case over here, what I'm trying to do is actually change mom's dress color more towards the burgundy side. Her dress is just sort of this like post box color red and I don't think it really fits in with this particular image. So what I'm going to do or what I've decided to do is actually change mom's dress more towards the burgundy uh, maroon side of the color spectrum. So what I've done is I've actually clicked on the masking tools right on top here. So I'm going to click it once and now we're going to be presented with all of these options over here. Now you'll notice that Lightroom has automatically selected or detected our subjects. So we've got person one being dad here and person two. Now in this case here, I just simply want to select person two. Very, very easy. And now under, under these options over here, we're looking at the last option, which is clothes. This is the new one that they've added in. Okay, so we're gonna click that and create a mask. Now, when I zoom into this mask, you'll notice that it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. We've got this fuzziness around her dress. So what we need to do now is click on the mask over here and will be presented by a new layer called person to clothes. Next to that is these three little dots. Now what I want to do is click on these three little dots and I want to say intersect the mask with a color range. Why color range specifically? Well, first of all, we know that we've selected the correct subject, okay? Uh, Lightroom figured that out for us. Then we told Lightroom to kind of get a gist of where her clothes are, okay, obviously on her body. And now we're gonna tell Lightroom what color range that we want to select in this case because our mask isn't perfect yet, okay? So we're gonna go to color range. Now you'll notice that it has done nothing yet, but what has happened is that our mouse cursor's changed into a little eyedropper tool. Now we can select a little eyedropper tool here. Okay, so we've created a sample point of colors. So Lightroom has sampled this area here and it's got a little bit of a gist of the colors that's in that area there. But of course her dress is made up of different tonalities of reds. So we're gonna hold down the shift key on our keyboard and you'll notice that there's a plus sign next to our eyedropper tool now, all right? Now, if I click in this little area here, We've selected the darker tonalities of mom's dress and we've got this lighter area here and I'm gonna select that point between the light and the dark tones of reds, somewhere there, okay? So now we've got a structured selection of mom's dress, okay? It's not perfect yet. I can add another selection point here and maybe another one over here and another one over there but there's a bit of a limit here. The color range is limited to five samples only, okay? So I can't make multiple selections of colors on her dress. However, if I click okay here, I can actually redirect Lightroom's attention to a small block of colors on her dress. And I'm gonna do that by click and drag, okay? I'm clicking and dragging a little box around this specific area of her dress and I'm asking Lightroom to look at the colors inside of that box. Let, let's let go of that. Look at that. That selection there is a lot better than those ones that we made with all of these single points. Now, we can refine this again, we can make it smaller, or we can select this area here, but I would say sort of midpoint between the dark tonalities and the light tonalities. This is where I want Lightroom to sample the colors from. Okay, there we go. So we've got a basic selection of mom's dress. It's still not perfect. There's still areas that we need to fix up. And let's have a look where and how, okay? First of all, we've got a little area inside here that's not really selected properly. And we've also potentially got a little area outside here that we need to remove. And 
we've got these little red edges of her dress that denotes that it's not really made a good selection. Now, one of the places that we can change this selection is the refine tool here. We can refine what it looks at, okay? And if we go further with a slider to the right hand side here, you can see that we slowly but surely getting rid of the red edging over here. But the problem is, is that it's overlapping now again and we're sort of finding ourselves back at that point where we had that first selection where it got really fuzzy along the edges. Now, in this specific case, I'm gonna keep that at 50%, okay? All right, you can see there that we're getting a fairly nice selection over there, but the rest of the dress we're gonna work on. And this is where we can actually use our add and subtract tools here. So I'm gonna to go to my add tool here, and I'm gonna start painting around mom's dress. So let's go to add, click the add button, and I'm looking for my brush tool in this case. Oops, sorry, brush tool. Let's go back there again. <laughs> uh, we're going to go to the add and the brush tool, and I'm gonna make sure that auto mask is selected here. Okay, very important, okay? Now I'm gonna paint into these areas here and get a much cleaner selection of mom's dress. Can you see where this little red edge is over here? As I paint over that area with auto mask active, I'm actually filling in that red there by a better, smoother transition and a better selection, right? Very, very simple. Now, the great thing is that with this brush tool, I can use my bracket keys to adjust the size, okay? So I can come into these little areas there and correct that there. Now, as we go down to the bottom of the dress here, we've got these little areas that need filling in. And sorry, as we zoom out, there's a whole bunch of areas over here that we need to correct especially over here, okay? Let's zoom in there, okay? And we've got all of these areas over here. Let's go back to our mask, go back to brush one, and adjust the size of our brush and continue painting over here, like that. Now with auto mask active, you can see that it's really picking up the edges of mom's dress there, because I guess, you know, it being so red, it's very easy to see in the scene, okay? So we getting those edges of her dress nicely selected here, okay? Still not absolutely perfect, but this auto mask is really helping us here. As I go along the edge of the dress here and cleaning up the mask, this is really, really helping us. Okay, let's leave it there. What we're going to do now is actually do the color changes. Now that we've got the selection of mom's dress, it's now time to make those color changes. Now. Let's analyze the colors that dad's wearing here. It's sort of like a darker tonality. So let's just turn off our show overlay here. The very first thing that we wanna to do to mom's dress is drop the exposure because mom's dress is quite bright in comparison to dad's jumper here. So what I'm gonna do is drop the exposure first of all, and instantly we're getting that same feeling of the same color consistency, okay? It's still not right yet, Mom's dress is quite saturated in comparison to dad's jumper here. So let's pull down our saturation here. Wow, look at that. And that is absolutely working for us here. Maybe increase the lightness there a little bit or exposure rather. And look at that, let's zoom out. We are really getting close to the colors that dad's wearing. Now there's a slight hint of yellow that's at least how I perceive it at this stage. So that means I could actually come into the hue adjustments here and adjust the hues of mom's dress. Let's do that quickly. I'm gonna pump it up to maybe 1.4 or maybe two, but look at that, okay? This is absolutely working before and after, okay? And now we're getting a much better uh, color harmony as such. So now we've changed mom's dress more towards the burgundy maroon color palette and we get a lot more color harmony going on here. It looks more organized, it looks more structured and the simplified colors overall add to the composition of this particular image. Now, obviously this is not where I would leave it. I'd then go in and edit out all of this muck over here on the ground, so to speak but um, there's a lot of other things that I would have done or would do to this image. In fact, I have done, uh, here is the full edit of this particular uh, image. This was all done inside of Photoshop, but in this case over here, where I just wanted to demonstrate 
color changes inside of Lightroom. That's exactly what we've done here in a few easy steps. You know, using the artificial intelligence now built into Lightroom to make a general selection of clothing of our subjects and then using a color range selector to be a little bit more precise. Okay. So there you have it, folks. I hope you found this um, extremely useful today. And you can go out there and make color changes comfortably inside of Lightroom. So once again, thank you very much for all of the awesome support. And we'll see you in the next session. Cheers for now.